On experiment seven, the water detector, just wanted to go over the plan a little bit and just point out that the, the pictorial drawing here is incorrect. So we're going to change this a little bit. Uh, they have power coming into a switch. They have it going through a 1K ohm resistor, through a 470K ohm resistor. And then as you notice, it comes, power comes into row 20. Now power can flow through these two resistors back to the negative, which makes a loop. But when you go from row 20 to 21 through the LED, then there's no path back to ground. So really the light bulb will never light the way it's drawn here. So what we're going to essentially do is we're going to eliminate these resistors here. Okay, that'll just give you a little bit more power. And we're going to pull one of the wires they have up here and plug it in down to the negative at the bottom. Then when this wire touches that wire, it should light up the bulb. Okay, so here's, uh, I'm going to hook up a practical version of that right now for you. Okay, now if you'll notice, the light is on when I touch these two wires together. So I hooked it up the way I showed you on the plan. And when I disconnect these two wires, the light is off. That's the initial test you want to make, is to make sure that the bulb lights up when the two wires touch each other. If it doesn't, your circuit isn't right. And then what you're going to do is take the two wires, you're going to dip them into the fresh water and the salt water, and then see which one of those uh, conducts electricity better.